Good day. Hope everybody's having a good one out there. So, just got a chance to uh, check out the the new video um, and song Metallica's seventy two seasons. You just released the title track uh, video. Um, pretty neat video. I mean, um, you know, it's a lot of uh, cool imagery, After Effects type, you know, uh, stuff. Um, the song itself is very uh interesting in the fact that it has kind of like three different eras there's like some you know the, the the main thrashy riff that they're working with um is you know very uh very kill em all era um you know and uh you know into ride the lightning or whatever but i'd say it's really reminiscent really remind you of um riffs you would hear on on uh kill em all um then it has it also has some i i would say some uh um a few nods audio wise to justice for all and then you ha totally have a uh, black album uh, vibes where you know especially when Kurt Hammett uh, comes in with solos um, of which there are a couple um, but I gotta say you know the, the song clocks in at 8 minutes 38 seconds and in all that time and with all the different riffs it really doesn't feel like you've gone anywhere um, it, it just kind of it feels like it needs to be buttoned up like it's not done cooking yet um it needs a little bit more time in the oven um you know there's you know some parts of it that really just and you know especially uh first impression wise um it feels like that it's gonna do something but it never does and um it it really kind of just at times feels like cobbled pieces together and then trying to recreate um a sound um you know you could tell that they're purposely um really trying to you know grab riffs from you know older times and stuff like that they they hear their fan base they know you know um but at the same time there's like little things in it like you know, of course, uh, Lars, you know, he's like the, the little chihuahua of drummers. He has to be heard. And it, it feels like, you know, even with that, like, not to say the drums are annoying, but perhaps maybe a bit too up front. And especially with um, some of the riffs that are being worked with, you know, it's like, you know people don't go listen to metallica songs to hear lars lars's drumming and it's like you get the impression that he thinks that's why everybody comes to listen to metallica um you know i have um kind of indifferent either way i know um you know is he's gotten a lot of flack for like the saint anger snare and and all that stuff um <clears throat> i'm not you know one that but i will point out that you know there it just the song overall feels like it could be uh, a little bit shorter especially with the riffs they're working with there's no like real breakdown that changes anything up or goes and it's just you know it almost feels like they they jammed this out they cobbled the pieces together and then polished it up and then you know put a um an intro on it that you know is uh kind of needless uh the album itself um it seems like they got a lot of cool from what i've read in the uh articles and interviews that they've been doing they did a uh um good interview over on blabbermouth um it feels like they it seems like they're working with a, a lot of cool themes um especially uh for james to be uh the headspace that he's writing in um it seems um 
like this song 72 seasons is you know about the, the first 72 seasons of your life and how that evolves you how that changes you and how that turns you into the person that you become um like i said a lot of cool messaging um you know they've, they've never had a lack of uh um uh good good songs of good content um lyrically and stuff like that i mean i guess they have but overall um they have a ton of just lyrically you know great songs so it's going to be interesting to see with all the different aspects there it seems like they're really trying but that at the end of the day it does feel like they are it's they're trying and it almost feels like they're they're forcing these things you know not as it's like everybody's on a different headspace you know james is getting back into a thrashy kill em all headspace but kurt is still you know and lars for that matter are still kind of in the black album headspace and it you know um and i mean we know that bassists in Metallica after Cliff Burton aren't allowed to really be in the forefront. <laughs> um, but uh, I, 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 like I said, I think there's some interesting things going on here, but I'm, I am looking forward to hearing the, the whole album in its entirety and um, seeing where, where it goes. But um, this song, I, I you know, I think there's going to be a lot of people being critical of it. Like I said, there's a lot of cool things going on, but it doesn't feel done. It feels like it needs more time. Um, it feels like there's not anybody in there telling. It feels like they're surrounded with a bunch of yes people. Yes, that sounds awesome. Yep, yep, this is great. When they should have a producer that's telling them, no, I think we need to trim this up a little bit, tighten this up, button this up, and, um, you know. But I do uh, commend them, you know, putting out an a eight-plus minute uh, a song. Um, it's been a while. And, uh, you know, a lot of their songs have been more radio play type uh, shorter songs. So uh, it, it is cool to see that we're going to have some uh, songs with some substance. But is the substance really going to be there? Or is it just pretending to be? You get what I mean? So we'll see. Um, but I look forward to hearing what people think. I mean, have you heard it? What do you think? Uh, have you seen the video? Pretty cool video overall. Um, it, it, it really seems like they, uh, the more videos they put out, the more they're trying to hide themselves um, and just kind of show some uh, imagery. We'll, uh, we'll see. But um, that's, uh, that's my thoughts. Looking forward to hearing uh, what everybody thinks. Have you heard it? And uh, what are you, uh, are you looking forward to the new album? What do you think? Well, everybody out there is having a great day. Hope it's going as good as it possibly can be. We got tons of more stuff. Check us out on uh, all the social medias and all that. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And we will see you in the next one. Have a great day out there, everybody.